good y'all welcome back to the channel i know it's been a minute since i recorded a video but we got some big big stuff planned as you can see right here if you know what that is we got a lot planned so make sure you guys leave a like subscribe make sure notifications are on so you don't miss any videos coming up so today we're not doing any mods to the car. Today's gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna be talking about my likes and dislikes about the car. I had the car for about three months, three and a half months now, I believe. No, actually it's been four months. I had the car for about four months now and I had some time to really enjoy it. Go on a few trips, take it long distance, see how comfortable it is and all that. So now we're gonna talk about what I like and dislike about the car. Just a quick update. We did change the wheels back to silver. Um, got tired of the gold. And also the gold isn't gonna look right with the new color that we're going with. So silver was a better option. All right, so first we're gonna start off with the dislikes about the car. One of my first dislikes about the car is the interior space in the car. So I understand that it is a sports car and it's a coupe and it's supposed to be a little smaller, but like, there's not really much space for you to put like your phone or little extra stuff or like even the center console the center console is really 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 small um and like if we like me and my girlfriend we went on a trip and like there was really nowhere to put stuff now i can't say that the trunk space is pretty decent but like the side cubbies and the little center console area and it's just not it's, it's not a lot of space especially with me coming from a four-door sedan car the coupe is a little bit smaller than i like my next dislike about the car is the apple carplay now don't get me wrong i love the apple carplay like it's one of my favorite features about the car because i didn't have apple carplay in my fusion but the apple carplay is only half screen don't get me wrong i love the apple carplay and it is wireless Apple CarPlay, but it's only half screen. And I wish I could make it full screen to make it bigger. They let you put different stuff on the side of the Apple CarPlay, but a lot of that stuff is kind of useless. And it's like a clock, but the Apple CarPlay already has a clock on it. And it's just like, it's just not really much. It, it doesn't make sense why you can't make it full screen and why the stuff next to it is like, it's useless kind of. Half screen Apple CarPlay is like one of the one of the one things that's kind of <laughs> kind of made me nitpicky about the car. I guess you could say the next dislike that I have is the fact that the car does not have the digital dash. Now there is a another dash that is way less digital than the one that I have, but I wish I would have got the one with the digital dash. The digital dash just looks a lot more clean and a little bit more advanced i like a good digital dash and mine does have a little little section where it is digital and you can change the stuff there but i would have preferred the full digital dash in my car all right so my last dislike i'm kind of having half on um my last dislike is the exhaust sound so don't get me wrong just like the apple carplay i do enjoy the exhaust sound but it's it's not loud loud like i want it to be v8 obnoxious loud and at, at the end of the day i understand that i do have an inline six and it's not gonna be as loud but i just wish like the the sound was a notch a notch louder like i have the burble tune on so it does make nice pops and bangs and stuff like that and it's it's decently loud i just wish it was a little bit like kind of v8 loud if you understand what i'm trying to say so that was all of the dislikes so now we're gonna get into my likes about the car so the first thing is i do not believe there is a bad angle of the car like the car is very very good looking whether it's the front it's the side or you're doing like half front half side kind of view or from the rear or if you do like a three-fourths backside panel view of the car like there is not a single single bad angle on this car like it is a very very good looking car like i absolutely love the looks about this car the next thing that i like about the car is the gas mileage now i'm kind of heavy on the gas or well i drive fast a lot so that kind of affects my miles per gallon but if i put it into eco mode and i kind of cruise it out the, the car still gets good gas mileage um right now i'm averaging about 16 16 and a half almost 17 miles per gallon 
but if I do like slow down, it'll go up to like 20 miles per gallon. And for the car to be as fast as it, as it is, I really think that it's very, very good on gas. Like I only fill up once a week and on the weekends, if I'm racing and stuff like that, um, it, I may have to fill up again on the weekends, but like if I'm just cruising and chilling for the week, I only have to fill up once a week. Speaking of the car being fast, one of my next likes is how fast the car is. Um, so that's the whole reason why I bought the car in the first place because of the B58 engine. It's very reliable stock. It is kind of fast, but um, it is so easy to tune. Like I added my downpipe in myself, uh, the tune, I could tune from my phone. Uh, as you can see from this video right here, I'm gonna leave right here. Um, and like, I, I do a little racing on the weekends and stuff like that. And like, I'm not Hellcat fast, don't get me wrong, but like 5.0 Mustangs, uh, scat packs, SS Camaros, like I'm with them the whole way. I even beat a few of them. Like, unless they have like a crazy tune or they're running full E or stuff like that. Like I low key can beat almost all those cars. Like for this to be what it is, an inline six, like the car is very, very fast. Like I have so much fun with this car and that's like one of the big, big things besides the looks like the car is very fast for what it is. The next like is the technology on the car. So first off, the car has a heads up display. I did not have heads up display in my Fusion and this car has a heads up display that I really do enjoy. Apple CarPlay is really good. I like using that as well. And the comfort access to the car. I had it on my Fusion, but this one is a little bit different. Like if I hold the unlock button on my remote for about three to five seconds, all the windows roll down and the sunroof opens while I hold the button. And also the buttons on the door, like once I put my hand inside the door handle, if I got the key in my pocket, it automatically unlocks. And if when I get out the car and I wanna lock it, all I have to do is just press the little nubs on the door handle and it locks on its own. One thing I forgot to mention with the technology is the cameras. So the car has a parking camera and it also has like some front bumper cameras. So like, let's say if I'm pulling out and I can't see left or right, there's cameras on the front fenders to where I can see left and right if I just press the camera button. And then also there's a parking assist camera. So like if I think I'm crooked or anything, I can press the parking button and then the cameras will pop up and show um, the lines and all around the car. It's like a 360 camera. Um, but yeah, like the technology in this car is really, really good. This kind of goes with the last thing I just said with the technology about the car, but the car has so many apps to where you can change the car to your liking. Um, like my tail lights that I added in, I'm gonna leave a link to the video of me adding the tail lights here. But at first they wouldn't stay on um, in the daytime. They will only come on at night, but there's an app called Beamer Code. And in Beamer Code, I set it up to where I can have the tail lights running as daytime running lights so they're on all the time and you can see the design on them and also like at first my windows didn't fold when i locked the, the doors and in beamer code i could go in and code it to where uh i could fold the mirrors or like when i break i change it to where my if i'm breaking really hard the brake lights are flash so like there's a lot of stuff like you can change about the car like if you don't like it uh i'm i might end up doing a video on it just to show you guys like what i'm talking about but like if there's certain things you don't like about the car technology wise you can use the app or like um i have an app called beamer link and with beamer link um i can always keep my my exhaust open at all times um so the car just it's a lot of technology that makes the car more enjoyable and make it to your liking. And that, that really is one of my big likes about the car. My final like about the car is the burbles with the exhaust. I know I said that I wish it was louder, but the burbles are so enjoyable um, while I'm driving and stuff. Like there's a tunnel kind of overpass kind of thing. And uh, every time I go through the tunnel, I floor it just to get the burbles going and stuff like it sounds so good and like it really is another one of my favorite things about the car is the burbles like some people don't like it but me i personally enjoy because it, it gives the the car a little 
a little different aspect of it from different cars. Like V8s are really loud, but I have the burbles and the pops and the bangs whenever I'm revving. The upshifts and downshifts in this car sound really, really amazing. That's gonna be it for this video here. Those were my likes and dislikes about my car. Make sure you guys leave a like on the video. It helps grow the channel. Um, make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure that notifications are turned on because the next video is gonna be a very, very big video and you don't wanna miss that. So make sure you guys have notifications turned on. But that's gonna be it for this video. I appreciate y'all for watching. Peace out.